And now to the Supreme Court, which today handed down a major victory to abortion rights activists. In a five to four decision, the court struck down a Louisiana law that would have left the state with just a single abortion clinic. And Chief Justice John Roberts was again the decisive vote. Here's ABC's Devin Dwyer. From a conservative Supreme Court, a surprising decision on abortion. The court today striking down a Louisiana state law that required doctors performing abortions to have admitting privileges at a nearby hospital. Clinics like Hope Medical in Shreveport, Louisiana, one of just three abortion providers in the state, said it was near impossible for their doctors to meet that requirement. It is highly possible that all but one, if not all, clinics will close in Louisiana. Justice Stephen Breyer and the court's liberal justices agreed, saying the potential closure of clinics would create a substantial obstacle for women. State officials said the regulation was meant to protect women's health, even though hospitalization after an abortion is rare. The justices concluded there is no significant health benefit from the law. When you have a procedure that is already extremely safe, when it is difficult and time consuming to get admitting privileges, it makes no sense to require only doctors who do this kind of work to have admitting privileges. And states like Louisiana have failed to show that there's any evidence or any need for doctors to have admitting privileges. The Louisiana law is nearly identical to a Texas law struck down by the Supreme Court in 2016. Since then, President Trump added Brett Kavanaugh and Neil Gorsuch to the bench, raising hopes among conservatives that the outcome in this case might be different. And you look at the Supreme Court, they're pro-life. But in an extraordinary move, Chief Justice John Roberts, who dissented in the Texas case and opposes abortion, said the Louisiana law violates the court's precedent, writing Louisiana imposes a burden on access to abortion just as severe as that imposed by the Texas law for the same reasons. Therefore, Louisiana's law cannot stand. In Robert's concurring opinion, he makes very clear that he thinks that stare decisis, the idea that courts abide by their prior decisions, is in some ways what separates the judicial branch from the political branches of government. So you stick with settled law whether you like it or not. In a statement, White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany said the ruling devalued both the health of mothers and the lives of unborn children, adding, quote, unelected justices have intruded on the sovereign prerogatives of state governments. <laughs> Since President Trump took office, there's been a wave of state attempts to restrict abortion, including 25 laws passed last year alone to ban all or most abortions. None have taken effect. At least 15 states have considered enacting admitting privileges laws like Louisiana, but those efforts now look in doubt. Well, it's a huge relief today that, you know, to begin with, the clinics in Louisiana will stay open. Yes, the access to abortion has been affirmed by the Supreme Court. But because there are these laws continually coming, it's so important that everybody be vigilant. ABC News visited the Hope Medical Clinic in Louisiana earlier this year, seeing firsthand the health care workers serving women from across the South. Wicked, unimaginable. The protesters outside making their voices heard. Clinic director Kathleen Pittman told us regardless of the court's decision, she was focused on the months ahead. What we need to do is concentrate on the here and now, take care of the patients that are currently in our care and make sure they have everything they need and really hope for the best. And Devin Dwyer joins us now live. Devin, you mentioned that wave of state laws since President Trump took office seeking to restrict abortion. What impact does today's decision have on those laws and any other cases on restricting abortion that could make their way to the Supreme Court? Yeah, well, the Chief Justice Lindsay today made very clear any abortion regulation that imposes a substantial obstacle for women will not fly here. And that is a huge relief for abortion advocates. Several told me today that they see this as a sign that uh, Chief Justice Roberts is not eager to overturn Roe versus Wade. Uh, but the justice did make clear that other abortion regulations can come forward. They'll evaluate them on a case by case uh, basis. And anti abortion activists tonight say the fight is not over, Lindsay. And Kevin, we also saw another major decision today on the death penalty. What did the court rule on that? Yeah, the, the federal government has not executed someone in 17 years. There are 60 federal death court, uh, death row inmates in this country. The president says he wants to fast track those executions, get them going. The Supreme Court tonight uh, said they would not look at the appeals from some of those men, meaning those cases could go forward as soon as July. Lindsay? All right, Devin, thank you so much.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.